Hi everybody, I'm Becca the Bucket and I just got my squish box in the mail today. Yay! So, um, I'm working with new equipment. My stepdad was nice enough to let me use his uh, camera and his mic. So bear with me if things are, are a little strange. Hopefully they should just be better, not strange. Um, but we'll see. And I'll also try to remember to raise my hands high enough so that you guys can see everything. So, uh, our squish box came today on the 3rd. And I have been eagerly awaiting its arrival because the last one came on the 1st. And I was really hoping it would come on the 1st this month too. But it didn't. It came today on the 3rd. But that's okay. So, what we have today is the, or this month I should say, is the Anpan Caramel Corn. Anpan Man, I'm sorry. Anpan Man Caramel Corn. Uh, we also have Vitamin C Lemon Candy. We have Poro Poro Yaki Senbei. We have One Piece Chewing Gum. There's also Bourbon Elise Wafer Sticks. Uh, Furuta Flaky Cream Pie. Sequoia Wafer Bars. Bisco Matcha Sandwich. And Peach Gummy. Hopefully all of that was in screen because I can't see what I'm doing. I got the thumbs up. We're good. All right, so the first thing on the list is the Anpanman Caramel Corn. Oh wait, I gotta show you guys what the box looks like. This is what the box looks like. That is our packaging for the month. So the Anpanman Caramel Corn. It looks absolutely nothing like what they showed us in the picture. So I was a little confused at first whether it was actually what it was. But it is, because there's only one caramel corn, and this one actually says caramel corn in English. So that's nice. I, yeah. Uh, it is a caramel puffed corn snack. So it's a puffed corn snack. Will it taste like popcorn? Will it taste like Fritos? Who knows? Next we have vitamin C lemon candy. We only have one of them which I'm kind of sad about. Uh, it is a delicious burst of vitamins. Um, and we have lemon candies here, and I really hope it tastes like the lemon candies we have here, because I really like those lemon candies, because those aren't sour, but they're still lemon. And you guys know how I feel about sour things after those Shige Kick Soda things. And so hopefully that's not sour. I'll be upset. Uh, after that is the Pota Pota Yaki Senbei. That's these. Got a nice big bag of them. Now last time we had senbei thing was the Happy Turn senbei sticks. And they said they were sweet and they tasted like Fritos and corn puffs. And it was weird and I did not like them that much. Emily did though. Um, so I think you guys can guess who these are going to if they taste anything like the last ones did. Um, after that is the One Piece Chewing Gum. And we have Hancock. Did you get a lucky sticker? I don't know. Did I? No sticker. Fine. I didn't want a sticker anyway. Uh, Bourbon Elise Wafer Sticks is after that. Got a little teeny package. You know, the last time I had something bourbon, it wasn't bourbon. I think bourbon is the brand name. I'm dumb, guys. Bourbon is the brand name. I'm sorry about the confusion from last time. These are Hokkaido Milk Cream Wafer Sticks. Um, so I guess kind of like vanilla, maybe? Because uh, that's what milk flavored things tend to taste like to me, is they taste like vanilla. Uh, so that sounds good. I love wafers. I'm always happy about wafer things. And the Fruit of Flaky Cream Pie. I love cream pies. They're delicious. It's not a cream pie though. It's like pie crust. It's not the actual cream pie. I've been lied to. Um, these also, we have these at my job. They, um, we call them petite palmiers at work, uh, at World Market. They also, I've heard them go by elephant ears. And they're basically like buttery dough flipped on top of itself over and over. I think it's puff pastry. And um, and the ones I have at work are really good. They're really sweet. 
and, and buttery and delicious. So if those are anything like what we have at work, they are very good. Uh, next is the Sequoia wafer bars. And there's, uh, I, I think you'd call this full-sized. Seems like it'd be full-sized. And I have strawberry. I love strawberry. Last time I had a wafer cookie, it was the chocolate cigar things. So I'm glad I have strawberry this time. And after that is Bisco Matcha Sandwich. And that is this little guy right here. It feels like there's two in a package. Either that or my cookie broke. Uh, it looks like it's two uh, biscuits with matcha cream in the middle. Um, and if you guys watched my previous video from last week, I reviewed matcha Kit Kats. And I'm curious to see how the flavor differs from the matcha Kit Kats to these matcha Bisco matcha sandwich cookies. So we will, we'll see because I've had other matcha cookies before and those had a really strong matcha flavor where the Kit Kats are very mild. So I'm curious. And lastly we have peach gummies and we have two of them. And I don't think I've had the peach gummies. Um, I had the lychee ones. I think I've had strawberry and mango of this brand. I don't think I've had the peach yet, but I do like peach. Um, and these particular gummies, I like the texture, so I have high hopes for them. And that is our box for the month. Um, I will post a description on what they post in the description, what they taste like, whether I like them or not. If I buy them individually. Um, for the next few videos, I was thinking about doing some food challenges. Um, you know, eat this while doing this kind of thing, or maybe mystery foods. Like, I don't know what they, they are. I get, I'm blindfolded and they're handed to me and I eat them and we record whether I freak out or not. Um, but I need some ideas. I'm, I'm new to this and I'm not sure what people like. So if you could leave an idea for a game or a food in the description, then that'd be cool. Um, I'm also going to do a recipe and I've already had one person recommend I do omurice and I've had omurice before and it's A plus, really good. It makes a lot though. So if you make one recipe, you'll have it for like three people, which is nice because we have a family of big eaters in the house. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment if, uh, on what Japanese dish you want me to try to make. And I'll try to make it as simple as I can so you guys can make it too. Because that's the whole point of this. Um, and yeah, uh, like, favorite, share, comment, give me some foot traffic. Uh, I'm really excited to be doing this and I want you guys to enjoy it too. Let me know if there's anything I can improve. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.